Today, I'm going to talk about a childhood brand that was founded in the same year as my birth in 1988, and that's Dippin' Dots. We're going to talk about the Dippin' Dots franchise, what this brand's all about, and how they fared during this most recent pandemic, the COVID-19 pandemic. So a little bit about Dippin' Dots. It was founded in 1988 uh, by Kurt Jones, who is a microbiologist uh, by trade. He was the first person to really revolutionize entering in nitrogen to ice cream, uh, which basically flash freezes the ice cream with liquid nitrogen and has a unique taste and texture uh, to the ice cream. There's other brands doing that now and are incorporating nitrogen in a different way, like chilling ice cream, uh, as well as a few non-franchise brands. But Dip and Dot really set the president 33 years ago, uh, and they've grown quite a lot over the years. However, they hit a pretty major hiccup in 2011 when they declared bankruptcy. So essentially an affiliated company for Dippin' Dots, uh, which was a supplier of all the products for the franchisees, filed voluntary bankruptcy. Um, and they had to do a massive organization. And then Dippin' Dots Corporate bought that entity. But that was definitely not a great stage for the Dippin' Dots organization, having this affiliated company, the supplier of all the products of franchisees going into bankruptcy. They, they've done better since then, since that bottom. Um, a little bit about the cost to open up a Dippin' Dots now in 2022. Initial fee is not that bad at 15,000, which is a lot less than most food and beverage concepts, where it's generally anywhere from 20 to $50,000 for, for the franchise fee. In terms of the investment, you're gonna to look to invest around 100 to $360,000. That includes the initial franchise fee I mentioned at 15,000. Also the equipment, the freezer is pretty expensive, 65,000 to 84,000. Um, and that's a fee that you're paying to Dip and Dot Corporate or one of their uh, preferred vendors. Um, and you also have additional funds in that amount, in the amount of 10,000 all the way up to 63,000. So. Uh, total investment, if you want to open up the Dippin' Dots this year and next year, should be in the 100 to 360K range. Now, in lieu of a royalty, they're charging $2.16 per bag for bulk ice cream products. Uh, this is better than concepts like Hagen Doss, where you, not only do you pay a royalty fee, but you also have to buy the products from Hagen Doss. So they're making money both ways in Hagen Doss, where for Dippin' Dots, in lieu of a royalty fee, you're buying the product from, from Dippin' Dots over the last 10 years um, since they nixed that, that affiliated supplier and you're just buying directly from the franchise or Dippin' Dots in lieu of a royalty fee. And then the advertising fund, same thing, where they're charging uh, 24 cents per bag for, for bulk ice cream products uh, in lieu of a, uh, of, of a marketing fee that's usually a percentage of the sales. Now, Dippin' Dots did not fare so bad during the pandemic. Uh, in 2018, they had 222 locations, added a few units in 2019. And then 2020, where a lot of food and beverage systems closed anywhere from 5 10% of their system, um, Dippin' Dots closed four locations. So not, not that bad, all things considered, especially when you see that many Dippin' Dots locations are in high trafficked commercial areas. Um, and they tend to go for pretty high rents. So not bad, just closing four Dippin' Dots locations in 2020. So should you invest in a Dippin' Dots? That's for you to decide. I definitely recommend to talk to a few Dippin' Dots franchisees. Also talk to some other franchisors, whether they're in the ice cream arena or even outside of, of food and beverage to see if it makes sense for you to invest in a ice cream franchise like Dippin' Dots or if you should potentially consider some other industries. Hope you found this video informational. Shoot me an email at patrick at vettedbiz.com if there's other franchises you'd like us to review. Thanks.